with Stonehenge, many of the stones didn't come all from local areas. They, some came from Wales, which is about 130 miles away. The ones from Wales were at least five to eight tons each. The ones locally, which is like about 20 or 30 miles away from Fifield Down near Avebury, in fact. This is the other one I wanted to show you. It's much larger scale. But again, we have these striations. I'll, I'll just show you some other photos so you can get an example of that. To me, this is evidence of either common influence or there's extreme traveling going on in prehistory between places like Stonehenge, places like Peru, Egypt, and other parts of the world. This could, just these little things we find, little clues, little signatures, could be the key to understanding the global megalithic network that Stonehenge was a part of. Stonehenge is utterly unique. It's the only one that has lintels, like 30 lintels mm -hmm. going around the top. It's got, as we saw in the video, it's got striations in some of the stones as though they've scraped and scooped the stones after they've softened it, which we find at Oyente Tambo and also Aswan wow. in Egypt. And so what's going on here?